Santa Barbara City College Film Festival Studies class is a class that was started last year, January 2008, and it's a class that I created and that I teach at various film festivals throughout Southern California. Right now, we do the Santa Barbara Film Festival. For the tickets, you have the tickets that I just gave you. You should be, you should have gone through them and know what you have. Your directors, writers, the 20 film tickets. Some of you went to the opening night. We're also going to get the Mickey Rourke tribute ticket. Uh, for next Saturday. Every January, February, we also go to the Los Angeles Film Festival in Westwood uh, every June, and we also go to the AFI Fest, part of the American Film Institute's uh, program, and that's also in October, November in Hollywood at the Arclight Theaters. Part of what the students do, 25 students, they enroll in the class and they pay fees to have tickets or passes to these various film festivals, and then they go and they see 10 to 20 films meet filmmakers, meet screenwriters, meet producers, actors, journalists, people in the industry. I'll be honest, I never regionalized it in my mind. I never thought of it as middle America, America. I thought of it as the human condition. Um, and I thought it was a marriage of science, a uh, fact that could justify, yeah, a state of complacency and inadequacy that would happen in this fictitious future if mankind forgot the point of living. So I was always thinking universal. I was always thinking global. Um, and it was, what's the point of living? The, if you had one thing, what is the point of living? And it's to love one another. And if humanity forgot that, everything else would fall apart. <laughs> and try to get involved and see what it's like to be a part of that industry and also to become film critics, to be better film goers, but also better filmmakers and better writers. The first act of a film uh, is very simple. It's usually the introduction to the characters, knowing what's about to happen, knowing the world the characters are in, uh, what are they trying to do, what happens, right? What they do is they see films, then they write about them, they interview people and write about that, and post them on a blog, and our blog is sbccfilmreviews.org. And from there, they can write reviews, other students on online classes or students that are taking classes on campus. They can then go to that site and write comments on the reviews and create a, an online community for film students at Santa Barbara City College. It's based on passes. That's, you know, passes, the more passes we sell, the more money we'll make. Mm -hmm. Um, um, and single tickets, yeah. Do you know approximately how much it costs to run the festival? Yeah, we're at 2 million. We have three film studies classes at those three film festivals, festivals I mentioned, but we're working on the Cannes Film Festival, and we're also working on the Telluride Film Festival in Colorado, which is over the Labor Day weekend. Do you, do you feel like since Sundance starts right before this festival and kind of overlaps, well, do you feel the, that that's a problem, or does that affect you? It's apples and oranges. It's apples and oranges. I mean, Telluride and Toronto um, are two days apart. And students get to see a variety of films, films that are very popular, that eventually get nominated for Oscars. For example, Slumdog Millionaire, The Wrestler, films like Che, which are very adventurous by such filmmakers as Steven Soderbergh. But they also get to see films that are rarely seen, films that are from all over the world. With this, for the shorts, they don't just show one short. Or sometimes what they do is they show a short before a film. That might happen. But if it's just a selection of shorts, it's usually five or six, and it has a theme. So what I would do if you decide to review a selection of shorts would be first to uh, review the selection of films as a whole. Maybe there's that theme that you can write about, and then focus on one film, or maybe two films, or something like that. That barely make it to DVD, but that are very interesting and very innovative and creative and they get to then see those films and open up their minds and their perception of what film can be. I can see that you're all so sad, so quiet. Chiquitita.